Dope Dealer Podcast. It's going down as the world's most dangerous podcast. It's your man, Jamal Doman. Dope Dealer. You know what it is, Toby, Toby Hicks. Hicks. Toby Hicks. We are back, we episode 34. 34, man, we moving. Yeah, it's Charles Barkley number. Yeah, we, yeah, <laughs> that fat bastard. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man, so let, let's get right into it, man. We appreciate everybody listening to last week's episode, man. We still getting comments about that, our hoes oh, winning. Yeah, and man. We, and uh, we appreciate that, man. Shout we just out try to the to, troops. Yeah, shout out to the troops. Oh, yeah, of course, we do this for the troops, man. <laughs> Army, Navy, Marine, Air Force, National Guard, Space yeah. Force. It, it's hoes in the military, too. Yeah, it's hoes yeah, in the military, yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I know. I, yeah. <laughs> I ran into a couple overseas, man. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we got a, we got a, a special guest in the house, man. But today's show is special because we are doing the NBA 2018. 19 NBA season preview show. Yeah. This is what people have been waiting on, man. Word. Yeah, man. Because you know that, people respect that, our opinion. It's that, and it's that beautiful time of the year where you got the uh, baseball playoffs, you got the NFL, you got basketball, yeah. you got hockey. Yeah. Man, and you got yeah. the, uh, you got well, Terrence Who watched hockey? You got what? Terrence Crawford. But I'm just saying it's yeah. all going all on at the same popping, time. Yeah. 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 You got Terrence Crawford fighting next weekend. Oh, man, shit. It's a beautiful time, man. It's a beautiful time. But well, NBA season is about to start. You know, we love the NBA, man. And we, you know, people been asking us when we, because a couple of weeks ago we did the NBA Story top storylines show. Mm, okay. I'm talking about the top storylines, but this is actually the preview show. So what we gonna do, man? Well, first thing, let me introduce my. Well, let him, let him introduce himself, man. The NBA comedian, also a knowledgeable NBA fan. So we had to bring him in. Introduce yourself. Well, I, I, I was, <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Alexander is Nick in the Alexander house. Nick Alexander in yeah. the motherfucking house, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me, fellas. Introduce what, what, what you got going. Who, Yo, who man, are you? What, I'm a yeah. comedian from New from? York yeah, City. Yeah. I'm doing my thing in Hollywood. Yeah. You know, just getting it in. I do stand up. Sketch, improv, you know, I'm acting. I'm just, you know, I'm just huge trying to get NBA it. fan. Huge What's NBA Nick fan. Or? I'm a Nick. I'm I a Nick. Yeah. My, my low, low to my Knicks. I yeah, know. My bad. I know. But uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy. Kevin Knox looked good last night. So we're gonna was. get into it. We're gonna yeah. get into it. So we're gonna spend I'm about hyped. like eight, seven, eight minutes on each division. We're gonna go break down each division, man, and just talk about what we who we think gonna come out of the division and stuff like that, man. And, okay. Uh, um, Sounds good. So Nick, I know you can't can't stay to probably the whole show, but you know, right, we'll, right. Whenever, yeah. whenever you got a roll call, get to the good shit and the playoff predictions. I'm down. For all, this. all right, so let's get it. Uh, let's start with the East. We're gonna go to the Eastern Conference Atlantic Division, uh, okay. Boston, Celtics, Brooklyn Nets, New York Knicks, my Philadelphia 76ers, and Toronto mm. Rap. Oh, this is a good well, division. This is a rebound year for my Knicks. A re- we're finally properly rebuilding, so we're gonna be in the bottom pile with the other New York team. Um, and I, I know Philly, Boston, and Toronto, they're gonna be fighting hard for those top three seeds. I would, I would say, right? What you, what you, what I you put that on wax. What you what you think, Toby Hicks? This division. This is who going who y'all think gonna win this division first? Uh, I got Boston. Yeah, you gotta go with the Celtics. Yeah, man. they're the most talented and the deepest team. And uh, yeah. I got a good feeling that the Celtics might make a trade during the year also because they still got so many picks. Well, yeah. they, they, they try to hopefully and they, uh, New Orleans wants to ship Davis somewhere. Mm. Oh, I hope they don't ship him to there. I hope they ship him to L.A. If Kyrie uh, acting like he don't want to resign, yeah. Danny Ainge going to get rid of him. Mm. I got Philly as my number two because yeah. I think um, they're really going to see what Markel Foles could do. I was a big yeah. fan of him coming out of the draft. So, I was and too. I, I feel like – his playmaking and uh, and if that jumper is there, yeah. I think that's exactly he what they need. Could be that need. third piece. Yeah, he's yeah. that third piece for yeah, them. Yeah, they said they starting him. So yeah, they starting they him. Started. I like that. I like that move for them. So I think. Yeah. I think that's gonna help Reddick all, all of this all coming of them. off the bench. coming off the bench. Yeah, that's that. And, and for those crunch time moments when you know, like, because Simmons can make plays, but I think he he doesn't doesn't shoot. He's and not a scorer. You need yeah, that three not, level scorer, yeah, and Markel yeah. is that guy. I yeah. mean, does, did anybody here? Did he work on his jumper this summer? Who Ben Simmons? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they, they if, said. If he could yeah. get to like Sean Livingston yeah, level, yeah. that would be. They good said he perfect. worked on it. I, I watched a couple of the preseason. I haven't seen it yet, but I mean, he but he can score so easily in so other so many ways. But you still need, but you still need yeah. In the playoffs, they. They gonna fucking yeah, sag off like a motherfucker. Like the Celtics did, man. Yeah, I like Kawhi, but I, I think the Raptors are, are still good. But I just don't. Um, they're an injury away from from being shaky. So I feel like if Lowry goes down, if his hip acts up, then they don't really have guys who can carry that load. You know what I mean? And I I don't know what's gonna be up with Toronto after hearing Kawhi laugh. That shit was just <laughs> <scary>. <laughs> who I mean, was yeah they they are yeah. ooh, who's ooh. they third? I mean they they picked up Danny Green. He's, he's the a shooter. Good, he's a good shooter for them. They, but they definitely need somebody else to step up. That yeah. third guy. They, they have a lot of two way players. And hey, they got hey, Norman Powell, man. And Norman yeah, I like him. Or, yeah. yeah, Van Vliet coming off the bench. Yeah, yeah. Van F- yeah. Ibaka still. You know he could still give them some games. They got like a lot of good two way players. Mm-hmm. But like Kawhi, 
is their 20 plus per game guy. And I don't know how long Laurie can play at the level he's been playing because he's also an older guy too. He's and he's short. So. I like OG. I can't OG Anabi like Anabi, his defense. Yeah. I always liked him when he was at Indiana, man. Yeah, they rugged. This they is rugged. a this is a this is an interesting division. And the Knicks in Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, we at the bottom. We're yeah. Brooklyn rebuilding here. At least they got their picks. They finally got yeah, their picks. Yeah. We, Knicks trying to get another top five pick. I think we, we're gonna play hard because they're yeah. playing all the youngins, but mm-hmm. we're definitely I mean, I'm not gonna say we're tanking, but we're just gonna lose because yeah. we're just, you know, well, you're young. Yeah, we don't got Chris Stapps and yeah, yeah. We, we young pretty much. Um, uh, you think they should sit Chris Stapps the whole year or do not? Um, yeah. if he if he's hundred and ten, then I'd say maybe let him burn out the last 10, 15 games yeah, of the year just to get, give him yeah, some give, run. Yeah, give him some run. But I wouldn't if he's not healthy, then I wouldn't play him at all. Mm. So the Celtics, this is the Celtics I division play him at all. take. Um, yeah, I got Boston winning like sixty five games. I think Philly can win close to sixty, and Toronto maybe like fifty to fifty five. Yeah, Boston's the only team I think that can give Golden State a a, a run. And they, they yeah, I got the Nets them. having the worst record in the league. In the league, the, the Nets nah. always surprise people. Sacramento, Atlanta. Well, we gonna get to that. We okay. gonna get to that. We yeah. gonna get to that. All right, all right. So let's go to the Central Division. Um, okay, uh, that was pretty. Well, well, that was efficient. Central Division, uh, Chicago Bulls, Cleveland Cavaliers, Detroit Pistons, Indiana Pacers, Milwaukee Bucks. Who you pick to win this division? I got Indy. I think I, I go with Indy, too. Yeah, I think um, they got Tyreek Evans in the offseason. I think he's a great guard off the bench yeah. to help Oladipo, like another playmaker. Mm-hmm. So Because Oladipo definitely got, like, um, they were closing in on him a lot. Yeah. So they was putting him through a lot. So I think they have more guards who can create off the dribble, and they're deeper as an overall as a team. Yeah, um, uh, Miles Turner got to step up. He didn't really have, a, he didn't take that next l- step that a lot of people thought he was going to take yeah, last this year. Be, you're for my video though. He's got to, yeah, he's got to step up. Um, yeah. I love uh, the Holiday kid as the uh, as the Aaron Holiday as the, the backup choice. backup point guard. He, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, for uh, sure. Um, they got a shoot. They got some more shooting to spread the floor. McDermott. Sabonis, I love Sabonis. Sabonis, yeah. Kyle LeQuinn from the Knicks. He'll help them out. He's a rebounder. He's good for them. And but the, the Bulls, I will be on Oladipo this year. Yeah. He surprised people, but now teams are gonna. Okay, That's true. They, yeah, he's on. The, he's on the radar now. He can't. They're not gonna sneak through any. Do anything. Who's coming in? Are you like are you like the Bucks uh, coming in second in this division? I, yeah. I yeah, because I think Giannis is that superstar. And I think oh, him definitely. alone can get him like forty wins. But I yeah, think Mike yeah. Budenholzer with that San Antonio, <clears throat> that good coaching, I think he'll finally like play those the, the 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 guys together in the right way. Like he'll have the right rotations. I think so they'll have better coaching. I don't know. I mean, I think Detroit's gonna be a lot better Me too. too. Can't yeah. just sleep on Detroit. Uh, yeah. I think Detroit, uh, I got them in the- Indiana or Milwaukee could either one of them could win that division. I actually like Chicago. I think I think mm, I like Chicago. Nah, I mean they're young, but I, I don't. Oh, they, they, they're young. They, they got they, some they pieces. Gold, man. You think so? Oh yeah, yeah. Because they got a lot of young guys who could score, but they don't. They don't defend though. Like Levine is twenty, but he don't guard nobody. Yeah. Jabari don't Chris guard Dunn's nobody. supposed to he can defend a little bit. He can he can defend, yeah. but the holes in the wing is is just it's too much for them to overcome and they're benching strong. Jabari Parker, he can't defend, but he can score. They got yeah. him to score. If yeah. he can make it through the season, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Thing he gotta too, make it through the season yeah. with him. If they if they buy they ain't got the bodies on the floor, then they, it won't matter. I think Chicago has some good pieces to build around. I love Wendell Carter Jr. I love I, him. I like yeah, him yeah, young player. boy. I yeah, love his game. Tough. He's yeah. gonna yeah. He's in Bobby Portis is that you know they need a dog yeah. on the team. Yeah. They starting out without Laurie, so that yeah, that's, that's gonna hurt them. Yeah, that's, that's that's a hurdle for them. That's probably their best player. That's gonna hurt them. Yeah. Um, who else? Oh, let's let's talk about the Cavs because uh, they said uh, lo, uh, Tristan, Tristan Thompson, Thompson was said they the team to beat. Yeah, I, I like I like fool. that false confidence though. <laughs> I mean, that's you gotta the same say that motherfucker that's fucking with a Kardashian. <laughs> I yeah. mean, only only fuck with these. For me, about. I'm watching Cleveland because I want to see Sexton. I just want to see his. Oh, he gonna he gonna he, be tough. He's good. I think he like he'll score. I think they have a lot of guys who can put the ball in the hole, but they don't have a playmaker. So yeah. it's just gonna be a lot of guys trying to get theirs, and there's no like guy this to rein them in. Yeah, this would be uh, T. Lou's last year. They'll be getting rid of him. Sure. Why, why they gonna get rid of him? For I mean, sure. is it his fault they lost the best player in the world? Like, what? No, nah, but it's gonna be his fault they lost this year. This year, yeah. So they don't give I a mean, fuck about that. So, yeah. so He's Kevin done. Love, Kevin Love can't turn into Minnesota Kevin Love. He'll get twenty and ten, but they'll lose. It's just not gonna be enough. I mean, they don't. They're not a great defensive team, you know. And like I said, they don't have a, a, a playmaker now. J.R. Smith in. gonna be J.R. Smithing. Right. It won't be long. And he's an old J.R. Smith Can now. you he imagine how yeah. you gonna act without LeBron around? Ain't no telling what he liable to do. Right. <laughs> so y'all, y'all yeah. said the Pistons, y'all. I, Pistons? I like the Pistons. Like I, I have them as my. Uh, if we go when we go to the the, the playoff scene, I got them at the eighth spot. Oh, I, I you got them making it, yeah. I think they'll sneak in. 
Stanley Johnson, he's been. A, I, I always thought. I thought he was gonna be that dog. That his dude, mom man. passed away, and they ain't been Last right year. since. Yeah, okay. she passed away as soon as he got to the league. Oh, uh, maybe that's what. He, he, he yeah. might. He, he might be just, able. To, he might have a year where he turns it around. They took. He's still in his they third, took, fourth year. They took Luke Kennard over. Um, right. That over was Mitchell. That over was, Mitchell. That was a mistake. <laughs> that's gonna. I feel yeah. bad for Luke Kennard because you know everybody just gonna look at him. Yeah. Like he, we took you over Mitchell. Even though, I mean, he's a shooter. I, I like think, Reggie Jackson. I think he's a good point guard, and I think Drummond. He's selfish. Reggie. Jackson is selfish. He, he is, but I think um, you know he Somebody has to listen to Blake. To he has to listen to Drummond because there's there's seniority, so they have yeah. more accolades, and he'll have to he'll have to like get, keep mm-hmm. them keep those guys happy on the post. Bruce Brown out of Miami, he's defensive dog. He may give him some defense. Yeah, they, uh, they gonna and gonna, hey, they're gonna have better coaching with Dwayne Casey. That's true. That's they're true. They're gonna have better coaching Way too. Better. Stan Van Gundy was just trying to do the the one. Four flat offense mm-hmm. or with the, with the mm-hmm. pick and roll and spread everybody, but they ain't had the shooters. Okay. But I think Casey's gonna adjust to that. Plus, just listening to Van Gundy for that too voice. Long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, you gotta. Sh- That's why Dwight was doing that impression. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that so was... I think they'll they'll win games. I mean, yeah. it's just health. I think too. Okay. Like they were hurt, they were banged up a lot. They didn't have Blake the whole year. Reggie was mm-hmm. out a lot. Yeah. That that play plays a factor. So we like in, we like Indiana out of yeah, this definitely division. Indiana all the way. Okay. All right, so let's go to the Southeast Division, uh, moving right along. Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, Miami Heat, Orlando Magic, Washington Wizards. This uh, is an easy one. I like the Wizards. Wizards yeah. out of this division? Yeah. Yeah. I think they made some really sneaky, possible good moves. Like Austin Rivers, I think I like, he's yeah. a good backup They needed creator. the bench, yeah. They need the bench. Um, the guy they drafted is a solid wing. and, uh, and Troy I, Brown Jr. Yeah, yeah, and I think Dwight Howard. I mean, people are salty on Dwight because they say he don't get along with Cass, but well, John Wall is the right point guard to get him on track. And yeah. Like he well, this is it. This is the last yeah, is dude right here. He right knows here. it. He knows it. Yeah, he, he fucked this locker room he, off. Nobody yeah, giving he, him a contract. No, nah, he'll be done. Yeah. So I like I like what the Wizards uh, what the Wizards did this year. Austin Rivers, had, he got a lot stronger in the last couple mm-hmm. years. People talk shit about him because Doc. And he cocky. But, yeah, but uh, yeah. shit. But they're a more, more balanced team. They're, now they have bench play, so with, with John Wall and Bradley mm-hmm. Bill don't have to carry all the yeah. low creating yeah. offense. So I think they'll be good. Otto Porter got all that money. He got to he yeah, be that third eye. Gotta produce. Yeah, he gotta yeah. be that third he ain't option. Did shit, since he got who, the um, the Heat maybe second in this division. I guess. Yeah, I think they can get like at the seventh spot because they got good. They have a good amount of guards. Yeah. Um, I think Wade, Waiters didn't play at all, and he, yeah, he yeah, can put he, up yeah. points. I think it's they Dwayne got White Wade, Side's head yeah, together. Dwayne Wade swan song. Yeah, if, if White Side can shoot the ball, if he learns how to you know mid range or even a, a step out to the three point line to stretch the floor, I think he'll be more effective. Like he hit a three the other day, he, I mean, right? So he you know he put in some work. Well, we White Side starting to look kind of Benoit Benjamin. Yeah, to yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah we, he's starting to remind me of him. We man. know they we know they yeah. play hard. They we play know hard. They're gonna play hard. They're in shape. They always you know they just dog it out. Yeah. And yeah, and Wade, they just have no bench, superstar. Just no star. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> it, it. Just nobody. Just a bunch of white side was supposed to be the guy. They paid him a lot of money. They paid him star the money. They was trying to get Jimmy Butler. But yeah, shit. yeah. Why would Jimmy go to Miami? Well, well it would be good for him. Yeah. Shit, you get, yeah. that's easy on the knees. Yeah. yeah, but how you gonna go down there after he was just. Uh, mm-hmm. Making googly eyes at Dwayne Wade at Gabrielle. Right, right. <laughs> go down there now. You just in the locker room. Right, nigga got, oh, yeah. check, nigga got checked on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you, you can't can. go down there now. That ain't gonna unless be. he gonna apologize to the wifey in mm-hmm. front of everybody. So Orlando, Atlanta, just they, built, just rebuilding. This Orlando's is, is they got a lot of like athletes, but they ain't got no point guard. Yeah, so, no point guard. I, I'm so surprised no they didn't go after Trey, uh, Trey Young. Um, but Atlanta got him. Um, Atlanta got him. They're gonna suck this year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a long rebuilding year. between them two. Yeah, them two. Teams. And it's a lot of pressure on Trey Young because of Luka Doncic. But the thing about it is that you know everybody talking about they should have took him, but they couldn't. Atlanta's a black town. They couldn't. Yeah, Luka Doncic, they, 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 they just nigga went. They know. Luka Doncic should go down there and score 50 a game, and it just wasn't going to be the right fit. It's not going to pop like Trey on hitting yeah. threes from 30 Yeah, feet. they just, they they had to. Yeah. Unfortunately, they well, had Once to, Quavo said, y'all need to get Trey Young, Atlanta like knew it. If we want to keep the niggas coming they had to get a, They had to get a black player. They couldn't yeah. get a yeah. white player, no matter how good the and, white player and Trey, was. Trey, and especially a European. For sure. Yeah. They can't, you can't, you can't. T- I, I understand the move. It's just going to hurt them. Yeah, yeah. It was a business move. It's, it's, it wasn't. It's business. Trey sells tickets. He's going to sell tickets at least for his rookie season. And he, and he can score. He, he'll be able but to score. But he can pass. That's not. That's the yeah. thing, too. Like, he's not a guy who, if you take his his scoring away, he's not effective. At least he can yeah, pass. Yeah, hopefully the ball. he'll start, you know, hopefully he'll shoot better and play. Good and won't get stressed out because if yeah. he gets stressed out and his hair fall out anymore, <laughs> I just you already know, see that ball spot, right? Yeah, that's the youngest old looking motherfucker I've seen in a while. Young old looking and then motherfucker. And he got the barge face, but fucking. Yeah, and his father still, you
So. Charlotte, you know this? They just solid. They just they ain't got no. Uh, Kemba Walker is just not a superstar. Yeah, he's, he's a not, second tier. He's a star, but he's, he's a not star. a superstar. They didn't. Kemba Walker is the third player on a championship. Third option. I on just like think anything team. that Jordan run when it comes to hoops Runs just ain't gonna work out. Yeah, I like what they draft. I love Miles Bridges. I was liking them for the Knicks. I just think they got a lot of solid guys, but just no stars. Yeah, Malik yeah. Malik Monk has to take that next step. Yeah. Uh, Miles Bridges, yeah, if he I think can they shoot all, that they, three. I think they all can play well. It's just not going to be enough. They just like you just see thirty five wins and just smack that on them. Like yeah. I just I can't see them elevating any more than that. Yeah, and uh, do we do, do we need to even talk about Orlando? Well, I guess we do have listeners in Orlando. Mo we, Bamba, he's a good. Yeah, he's you know, good. Yeah, they got a lot of athletes like Aaron Gordon can dunk. Yeah, yeah. Jonathan <laughs> Isaac got to play. They, they, they just paid him a bunch of money, money. so he's gonna they, be there. Yeah, they they're gonna have to spend money on a star point guard. But they have no point guard at all. Yeah. I can't believe they. Augustine's they, the Augustine is. Yeah, your, he's a backup. He's not a starter. Jerry, not anymore. Yeah, not he's anymore. A backup. Yeah. yeah. So, Jerry, you know, it's, it's, it's more losing. More losing. More man. losing, but hey, you know, it's, it's a, you're right, taking so, a step in the right direction. All right. Yeah, it's just growing. Mo, and building around Mo, Mo yeah. Bond. And hopefully Jonathan Isaac can uh, actually stay healthy and show. Because I think he's a good two-way player. All right, let's go to the Western Conference. We're going to go to the Northwest. All right. That's the Denver Nuggets, Minnesota Timberwolves, Oklahoma City Thunder, Portland Trailblazers, and Utah That's Jazz. the hardest division right there. In the Woo! Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's five teams deep right there. I think Utah may win this division. I'm picking Utah. Hmm. I, I pick Utah too because I think um, Grace Allen was a good draft pick for them, and mm-hmm. that'll help their bench. Because he white, of course. You know. It's because he white, well, and, yeah, he, and he and what he can do is like because I think if you guys notice in the playoffs when uh, Rubio got hurt, it really put a lot of pressure on Donovan to have mm-hmm. to carry the team for them and make yeah. plays, and they didn't have anybody else. So I think Grace will help that off the bench. Yeah. With their scoring. Oh, yeah, yeah he definitely and make them deeper. Yeah, he, he definitely will. If he, yeah, mm-hmm. and he ain't going to be able to do that shit he did in college. He get his motherfucking <laughs> job broke oh, yeah, fucking yeah. around. But he got the Utah fan base on his side, though. He got the... He, yeah, he got... He's got 30,000 white. white people. White people backing him up. This is a Oklahoma City? I got them somewhere in the middle. I like what they did, though. I think um, Nerlens Noel has a chance to really play well in that on that team. I think yeah, yeah, that's I think the right no, team for yeah, him. That's the right team for him. That um, is. I, I think Schroeder's a good backup for Westbrook. It'll keep them running, like, yeah. really the pressure mm-hmm. as in terms of a fast break team. Mm-hmm. They, they're they still not good at shooting, but their defense is definitely going to be better all across yeah. the board. Yeah, they got, they got Robeson back. Yeah. So he, he he that was people don't I yeah. know offensively he's not yeah, a he's horrible offense. Yeah, Jeremy but, Grant starting will be good for them at the four. Yeah. Over Melo. I think at this stage, Melo just didn't fit that team. Yeah. And um yeah, so I think they'll be a good I think they'll be like a fourth seed, four or five seed. Yeah. Terrence Ferguson uh take that next step. Maybe he takes another step. Yeah. Take that next step. He's you supposed know. to be that shooter. Russell's out, but like you say, Schroeder could step in and, and run the team. You know what I mean? Back, and yeah. I think he's a great, he's a good player on a, on a on a on a on a really good team now. He's mm-hmm. not the best player on a, on a trash team. Minnesota Timberwolves without Butler, they're not a playoff team. Yeah, they nah, gotta make that. They, I don't. They, they gotta make they, that trade. They like, gonna, they gonna like, make the trade. They Butler's DNA was teams. all they over the success of that. that like I never seen somebody have such an effect like that. Like when he got hurt and missed like I think 20, 30 games. Mm-hmm. That's when they really started losing and they were in danger of missing out. And then he came back in just in time to help them get over that hurdle with Denver and to make the playoffs. Yeah. So without Butler, there's no chance. They're back to a lottery And team. I'm just hoping the Lakers, whatever you do, Magic, do not trade for Butler with all them miles of tips put on him. Yeah. And he keep fucking up locker rooms. Yeah. At some point, he's got to be the problem. I don't, I don't he's got to humble himself. I don't know why they didn't make the trade with the Clippers. Get A.B. Bradley see, and, Clippers and, do it. and the Kentucky guard. Yeah, Clip, and for for Butler, you should have been there. You they wanted you, a whole bunch of motherfuckers on. Yeah, I think Clippers Mil- will settle Minnesota and get Butler. Minnesota wanted three or four. Avery yeah. Bradley and the clip and that, that guard from Kentucky, the the, the, the rookie, um, uh, Jai um, Walker, SGA. AB, yeah. I think his contract expiring. Right, they could use him to get Butler. They could still do. It. No, no, I think I think they resigned. They resigned Avery Bradley for a year or two years. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how many, but okay. I know he he was a free agent. They resigned because I was thinking about yeah. the Sixers. Oh, uh, okay, all right, having them. You still got Tobias Harris. You could use. So oh yeah, you yeah. might not be able to keep him yeah. in free agency. So who else? Well, uh, uh, Denver is a, probably one of the most fascinating teams. I got them making the playoffs. I think um, Isaiah Thomas. There was only one game out yeah. last and, year, and Millsap missed a lot of time. Yeah, too. he did. And I think Millsap, if he plays at least sixty-five games, he'll, he'll get him in there. I think Isaiah Thomas off the bench helps that team. That Jokic, oh, boy, he's yeah. He's, Jokic takes Jokic another step. Nice. Jamal Murray's nice. He could score. Yeah. Gary Harris. 
Yeah. Yo, if 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 Michael Porter can, you know, play, you Malik never know what he Beasy, can do. They got the young side of Florida State. Yeah, yeah, they Beasy. got talent. They got talent all across. Will the Barton. Barton can can put him. There was a buckets. guy on the radio said he'll take Barton over. Um, Man, that motherfucker over, was a fool. Uh, I heard Brandon. That I heard Brandon. That. Gr- yeah, I still, my, Brandon my only English. concern is uh, who plays a three spot for them. I don't I think they have a solid small forward. You're talking about he take. Yeah, because they gave up Chandler. Chandler went to us to Philly, and now he helps Philly for sure. But yeah, they don't have a guy like a six seven, six eight guy. They have a lot of guys who are like six five. Six four, six six, yeah. and then six nine, six ten. They mm-hmm. don't have a small forward. That's yeah. where their hole is. But they're good they're, offensively. They're gonna be able to. Score. They got they, they, it's night and day for they're sure. Gonna, Portland Trail Blazers. They're good. They didn't get better though. I don't they know did. who they, they, they got. Who they got? Uh, Yogi, I think they got Yogi Ferrell. So I, I mean, you know, who? Yeah, a, he's a guard. He yeah, can score, yeah. but. It, Lillard can take Seth, another step. They McCullum. picked up Seth Curry. They picked up a oh, lot Seth, of small Sorry, guards. Seth's the score that they got. So <laughs> hey, I think Damon Lillard, he got to get out of there, man. That's a he's loyal, man. Situation. He he got the house. He said no. He set up to stay there. He don't want to leave. Well, he can be loyal. Well, you know what? He don't have to want to leave. He ain't gonna never win for sure. That's so not if you want to sit, not there, with this lineup, not with this team. He's. I he's, he's, if I'm anything, hey, I move McCullough. He's he's uh shit. All he gotta do is call Kevin Garnett and see how. Let me ask you this: Would you trade all that time? See how that shit work out? Would you trade McCullough? For like Jimmy Butler. Oh yeah, if I, yeah. I would, I, I would think that would be a good move for them because then they have that. They'd have enough guards in that two spot to fill in, and then yeah. Butler helps them with the three situation. Mm-hmm. It, it could be different for sure. It's just, did we miss? Did we miss a team in this division? Uh, did we talk about uh, no uh, Minnesota? Oh, yeah. Not yet. Oh, yeah. we talked about yeah. The only team that's out it. for me is Minnie. Minnesota. Okay. If, but, especially if, but, if yeah, Butler's Butler, gone because yeah. Minnie's out. Uh, let's go to the Pacific Division. Um, All right. Golden State Warriors. Uh, yeah, we Los know. Los Angeles who- Clippers. Los Angeles Lakers. Phoenix Suns. Sacramento Kings. Well, we we know who's going to win this division. Yeah, it's right? Golden State. <laughs> give, give them 60 wins again. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a that's a super squad right there. Yeah, super duper squad. And when adding Demarcus Cut, well, we don't. We, what's Demarcus? I don't know what he. Even without Demarcus, they still, still. Yeah, they still but team. I mean, even if he's six sixty percent, yeah, just, yeah. Seventy yeah. percent. He can, come, he, where he can take be. his time, come back in 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 March, get ready. And that was one of the. That's why you know everybody like how did it happen? But that was one of the few moves where he could. That, I mean, there ain't too many teams that could afford, no matter how much they paid him or didn't pay him for him to sit. Lakers just couldn't afford to have that body just sitting, sitting there. there. Okay. Golden State can afford that shit. Mm-hmm. They don't need him till playoffs. They don't yeah. need him then. Well, it's about who come in second in this division. Who you? I got the Lakers. Yeah, Lakers. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Lake Le- show, man. LeBron, I think they have a lot of young guys who are ready to take the next step in mm-hmm. their games, like Lonzo and Ingram and yeah. Kuzma. And uh, they got good role players who won with Rondo and even McGee. He's very mm-hmm. effective for, yeah. for what he does. Mm-hmm. You know, rim running center. And, um, and Lance can still, you know, he's energy. So I think they have a good balanced team, and even yeah, with LeBron. Yeah, see now LeBron yeah, the, with, the, with the, some of the players. Like LeBron don't have to guard the best player yeah, every night. You yeah. know, you can sick Lance Stevenson on motherfuckers, let For him sure. blow in somebody else's. They have right. they have no big man though. I mean, yeah, they I got, mean you got Javale. Yeah, okay. but after that, but what team has a big? Big man that just they talking about putting Kuzma at center. Yeah, you can use Kuzma. You put Beasley. You could just run. They just run. They just running. LeBron. Yeah, I don't think like LeBron said. It might be times where they run five guards. Yeah, Yeah. Kuzma gonna do against Embiid or I think he's only gonna do that for like five minutes though. I just I feel like. But you gotta look at it like this: How many times they gonna play Embiid? Twice, unless they get to the final. Mm. Right, so, you're not really worried yeah. about. That I mean, all the, I mean, name the big men that they really got to worry about. Like seriously, how many of them is it? A dude a in Denver, a dude in Denver. Uh, I mean, a couple, yeah, but yeah. still, you know, I think they'll be fine. Uh, if y'all say so, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think I, that, yeah, I think that they're, they're deep enough. They, they just, they have the, the legs to just run up and down. I don't think LeBron I don't plays think forty minutes tonight. Going, Look how fast they scored that first preseason game. Yeah, they, they could they could win forty. They could win up close to fifty. I give them like forty nine to fifty. Games. Oh, they're gonna win fifty. Yeah, I give them fifty three. Clippers, yeah. uh, they'll be a solid team. They'll play teams hard, but they only gonna win like thirty seven games. Mm, I don't think they have. A, they don't have a star. I don't know, man. I, I'm not really feeling. I don't understand why they brought Doc Rivers back. I think they're tired of listening to him. They gotta make that Butler trade, don't they? They ha- yeah, they, they should they trade for Butler. To. They're the team that, that would trade for because they got all these guards. They got they can yeah, give up. They don't, they don't have a well. SGA they say is a good playmaker, but like yeah. Bradley. And I Beverly, like him. I like SGA. I think you he, know those are guys who are just like they they play hard on defense and they spot up and shoot on offense. They don't create, so mm-hmm. they don't they lack creators. And their best guy is Tobias and Lou Williams, I think, yeah. and Gallinari. And he mm-hmm. he barely ever plays. So yeah, he get hurt and pr- he get. Hurt yeah. at the house. Yeah, <laughs> this motherfucker walking on the stairs. Yeah, this <laughs> I was just making a sandwich. Yeah, so they'll play they'll, my elbow. They'll play a lot of teams and lose like lose a lot of close games. Yeah, Doc is. I think. I mean, I, I, Doc is overrated to me. Doc honestly. is done, man. 
Phoenix and Sacramento. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I like watching about, them. They're going to be Phoenix, a good league yeah. pass team. They're, they're, yeah, those yeah. are my league pass teams to watch. They're I mean, not going to win much. but Devin Booker, I mean, you just to watch him yeah. score. I mean, he dropped like 60 on the Sixers, uh, I think it was last year. And DeAndre Ayton. He's going to be a beast. He's going to be a beast. And then, you know, remember, they they picked up. Um, I like uh, Josh Jackson coming out of the yeah, draft. Yeah, J- Josh Jackson. They Ariza's picked up Mikael Bridges. Veteran. They picked up Re- Ariza. Out yeah. There. Their point Phoenix, guard is shaky, yeah. situation is shaky, Still, but I yeah. like this guy they drafted out of the France, Okobo. He's yeah. I think he can play something. He's not ready now, but like I think give him a couple of years. So without that point guard though, they're, they're gonna still get beat up mm. most nights because they just don't have you yeah. know that guy who can create off the off the dribble like that besides Booker and Jackson. Yeah, I can't believe they I can't believe them in Orlando. Also, they, yeah, they're they like Orlando. No, they went into they're very similar with no point guards at all. That's that's yeah. a in Sacramento. Do we? They really? lose a lot of games. They'll, you know, league pass team to me. They just, and we actually have the Sixers have Sacramento pick. Well, actually, Boston. I'm excited. Boston. I'm excited. Unless it goes I'm number one. I'm excited to see what Bagley does. I don't like Bagley. He's my bust, actually. Mm. Um, why well, is that? I'm why excited you, to see. Why is that? Especially I, in the Pumas. I, I feel like, well, one, he can't Hopefully go. Hopefully he got softer Pumas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he can't go right. and um, You're right about that. He can't go he right. He can't go right. And, like, he's too de- his wingspan, like, he's too dependent on just finishing, like, don't sleep on Harry Giles. He's Harry the guy Giles. I like. If, yeah. he can, if his knees stay up, I think he'll be, he'll be good. He was uh, De'Aaron Fox's. I like De'Aaron. He, and if he can just if he can shoot his jumper, if he can shoot that yeah. jumper. Yeah, I, I think I think they got some. But I think the guys. big man combo with Bagley and uh, they got too many bigs. That's another problem. They have like ten bigs on that squad. They got Carly Stein. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the Sky Labassier. They got the Giles. They got Bagley. Zach Randolph. Going, Buddy, Buddy Hill. Yeah. He. I'm, Justin Jackson. Yeah. They got a lot of. Yo, did you see the video of, of Kawhi? They said Kawhi took Ben McLemore's soul. It's a, it's a video where Kawhi stripped him on two straight possessions. I saw that clip. Yeah. Oh, my. It's a. He hasn't recovered, I guess. Yo, they said he ain't never. Like, Kawhi just stripped him or just took his soul. Yeah. They said he ain't never been the same. They're shaky at the three ben spot. Ben McLemore was nice, too, at Kansas. He was, I thought I don't he was know what happened a little then. better. Yeah. Iman might help them out, too, at the wing. Yeah. If yeah. he's healthy. You know, so we'll it's just is yeah with Sacramento it's just I guess it's just they just throw it on the pot and see who see who who plays hard see who plays hard and see I, yeah. I, I, but I mean I, I like I like I want to see what Bagley do and I like uh, De'Aaron Fox I think uh, yeah yeah, yeah. They young they got some young guys yeah. but yeah not having a draft pick is gonna hurt them we're we're moving on oh we're here uh, oh is that just one more damn we moving on Southwest Southwest Division Dallas Mavericks Houston Rockets Memphis Grizzlies New Orleans Pelicans I was about to say New Orleans Saints <laughs> and San Antonio Spurs interesting division mm. I I guess Houston I, I like think, Houston I really like what Houston did this summer you did a lot of people didn't like him said like, they lost they lost that defense they lost that defense I, I hear you with the defense but I think what they did with the getting Marquise Chris from Phoenix who still has a chance to be a good player mm-hmm. I see him like backing up Capella as that rim running big who can who's athletic I think um, Brandon Knight if he can play some coming off the bench is a different role for him and I think he thrives better as a, a microwave scorer mm-hmm. I like um, they still got PJ Tucker James so he, Ennis was a solid two way player from Memphis he yeah. plays hard so I think he'll alleviate he what Lariza and Mamba Mute brought to the team and Gerald Green too he'll, he'll he, he can light it up some side. nights and I think with Gordon off the bench still scoring so their scoring is more balanced and you never know what MCW if he's healthy he can make plays you know he won rookie of the year man he ain't yeah, he, he yeah, played man, a, he showed, a, he showed you a stop. season or two yeah, where he played I thought he, I thought he was gonna be better man, yeah. you don't stop he's been getting hurt a lot but but I think no, no, no. I think they're balanced. They they way more balanced scoring. Like yeah. I felt like when when Chris Paul went out, when you watched Game Six and Seven, you saw Harden nearly have to like carry them every yeah. play, yeah. and he got burnt out by the second half. And I think this year they got more <laughs> guards who can create off mm-hmm. the dribble, who can help those those bench guys who can spot up and shoot. Mm-hmm. And Melo being a third scorer, I know Melo. Everybody trashes him on his for yeah, his yeah. defense, but I still think a guy who can get his shot when you just give it to him yeah. is still valuable. In the right setting, that's so true. And their shooting is still good. Capella's a young guy who's a beast. He got his money. He got his money. You know, he got his money. You know what so he do? He you does. Know, the, you know what he yeah, brings to the yeah. table. So I like, I like, I like Houston. I still think they could, they could be Golden State. I, I think they're so the only Mello team. So Melo gonna be, he gonna come off the bench, then, right? I, he, he if he's, if, well, he started in tonight for preseason, but I think if he accepts his role as a sixth man, I think that'd be ten times better for them. So hopefully, we'll see what they do. Hopefully, I, I, I like him though. Um, uh, Dallas Mavericks. I'm I'm looking forward because I'm looking I like forward Lu- to I like Luca. Luke. Yeah, I, li- I think they'll just miss the playoffs in yeah. Dirk's last run. 
I think that he'll be close, yeah. but it'll be Dirk. It'll be like they'll win 38, Harrison 39. Harrison Barnes said Luka is the real deal. Yeah. He, yeah, well, well, I like Barnes. Barnes played with championships. He's, yeah, a, he's yeah, a winner, yeah. so I, yeah. I, 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 I could. Dennis Smith Jr. and, and, yeah. and Luka, they're going to be exciting to watch. Yeah. They're definitely an NBA pass league team. I'm going to keep an eye on them. Yeah. Dirk last year. I'm going you know, to see with the pick and roll with DeAndre with the pick and roll. Yeah. Um. Oh, they. I forgot they picked up Jalen Brunson, so he'll be the backup yeah, point Brunson, guard. He's still got JJ who can yeah. light it up. Yeah, you know DeAndre Jordan, you know, shit. yeah, yeah, it's a rim running big. He's thirty, you know what I mean. He can still play defense. That changes their whole. And landscape. Shout out to them for bringing him after he just did that bullshit to him <laughs> right. a couple years ago. I would have never talked right. to that nigga again ever. I right. would have never. Mark called Cuban chased this nigga in a helicopter and shit. Yeah, yeah. they got West Matthews, so they got a solid squad. Yeah, they got a solid, but you still don't think it, it, it's. I think they just miss out. Like just, I feel like they 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 definitely play like to the to the wire, and I think they'll finish like ninth, tenth seed. Mm, oh, San yeah. Antonio. I like San Antonio. Well, you know, you know they, the system, you know. They, the, system the system is, until it proves me wrong, the system is still the system. And I think DeMar is a good replacement. You yeah, know it's good. I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's the best you're going to get for, for you know. Right, right. You think about Kawhi, mm-hmm. he only played nine games, and they still won mm-hmm. like 47, 48 games. So. I love the DeJounte Murray. I love him. Yeah, he yeah takes he's going to be tough. I, think, I like the Lonnie Walker kid. Yeah. If he, he can help off the bench. And DeMar, I think him and Pop is system. I seen somebody you see the dude, they showed it on ESPN where the guy in San Antonio got his, uh, he got Lonnie Walker cut into his head. I was like, man, this kid ain't even played a game yet. <laughs> and somebody cut him into his head. <laughs> he got Benelli. No, he, no, he, he going to come out. to them. So they got more shooting. Yeah, you know? Benelli, you know, he he never seen a shot he didn't like. He right. Didn't. But and then they got the guy from Toronto, the Jacob Potel. He's a yeah, backup yeah, the, big. The center, yeah, so from he got Utah, size. Yeah. So that that you know, they still got the size and I They're think gonna the, be solid. Hey, hey, be but best team. coach team and, and always but gonna be the best coach. Hey, yeah. do do you guys think that uh Popovich is gonna let Lonnie Walker keep that hair all season? <sighs> Mm. I mean, what, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Tell them to, to Yeah, I what, don't know. To me, if he if he balls out, yeah, there ain't no you there's know, nothing you can do. I mean, all right, um, New Orleans so, Pelicans. Uh, they're my team. That's not gonna make it. You okay? Yeah, because if Anthony Davis goes down, they're they're fucked. Yeah, they 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 picked up um Randall's a solid. They picked up Randall, but I don't trust Peyton. He hasn't proven himself. Don't yeah. sleep on Jaleel Okafor. Zach, psych, psych, psych. I like Jaleel. I think he's a, he'll be a good backup. He he yeah, makes them deeper yeah. in the in the front court. But I think Peyton is just not Rondo. And I'm sorry, like even though he can play D, he has the tools. He looks like he looks like he played a part. But until he does otherwise, I don't trust that. But he cut his hair. Finally. Rondo was a big factor in them making yeah. the playoffs, man. Mm-hmm. Drew Holiday doing his thing. He's I mean, great it, it show, player, man. It, it show the deep, he showed out two way, two way, he tough, he two tough. way player. Um, but They're, they just don't have. They just after you know yeah, they don't yeah. have the pieces after. Yeah, I think Troy Williams from the Knicks. I, I liked him. He, I thought like if he got time, he could show some things. Uh, but I, he's not like a starter. He's a you know a, mm-hmm. a backup wing. But they don't have a guy at that three spot either. That, that three spot has always been shaky. The clock is ticking on them because Davis. Yeah. How long is Davis going? Man, if they get off to a bad start, hey, he's he gonna be traded by the deadline. Hey, he, can, he can't stay there. In a, I mean, this, this is last guy, year. This is last it's, one. Like they better go to all the games said. and show him some love because yeah, he's like, gone. Like I just don't understand these teams just be. Wasting cats careers. I'm yeah. like, what are y'all doing? They, like, what is they just GM? Couldn't, they couldn't attract nobody else down there, man. The type of spots, man. Yeah. Like, man. They Damn, didn't make the, the trades, Port- though. New Orleans, Portland. All, I mean, you can't get nobody. You ain't getting no free agent. No. Nah. You got to draft good. Yeah. You got to draft well or trade well. Yeah, you can't. You're not getting, z- you're getting zero free agents. Yeah. What do we think about Memphis Grizzlies? I think they'll be better just off the yeah, principle yeah, of them healthy, being healthy, yeah. but not a playoff team. Chandler Parsons, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Taking their money and modeling. Now the young, man. the young boy, uh, Jaron Jackson. I like, I like him. Yeah, I like him a lot. Yeah, yeah he's nice. He can shoot man. his ass off. Yeah, I, I feel like he'll he'll win the starting spot at some point, and he'll start. He'll be a good compliment to Gasol and great for Con, for Conley. Mm-hmm. But I just think that Gasol is you know, leaving his prime and going into his twilight. And Conley, coming off that injury, I don't know how he's going to need it. He's going to need the whole year to kind of get back to what he was. Yeah, he gets hurt every year, too. So, he, yeah, they just don't have enough. Like They, just, not they don't have enough talent that wows you on paper. You know what I mean? Chandler Parsons, he was supposed to have been the one, but he, was, he, yeah, he stole he, that money. He, he just, he just, Shit, Conley just stole his, too. Like, <laughs> that well, Max. Con, I mean... Yeah, yeah, but Conley, you know, he got hurt. He was I the mean. most played player, I think, last year. Yeah, he was. Chandler, first Chandler night. Parsons got hurt. What the yeah. fuck you mean? You act like... Chan, no, Chan, even Conley when he was did. showed more than Parsons, though. Parsons really, like, robbed him. Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't even produce in Dallas. All right, yeah. so, all right, so who... Let's uh, the West. Let's go with the Eastern Conference uh, playoff teams. We're going to uh, do the seeds? No, whatever. However you want to... However you got it. Uh, okay. Uh, who's... You ready, Toby, or you? Yeah. Yeah. Go so, ahead. Give me yours. Who going first? 
Go in whoever, huh? Who you go ahead, tell go ahead. All right, all right. So in the East, I got Boston at the number one seed. I got Toronto at the two seed. Uh, Philly at the three seed. I'm sorry, I swapped those two. I got Philly two, Toronto three. I uh, got Indiana Pacers at the four spot. I think Washington Wizards take the five seed. I got Milwaukee, um, the Bucks at the six seed. I got uh, Miami Heat for the seventh seed, and I got the, the Detroit Pistons with the eighth seed. Mm. I think they'll be the last one to claim that playoff spot this year. Mm. Uh, in the West, I got uh, Golden State. That's the given. Obviously. Uh, two, I got the Rockets. I think they'll 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 keep up and uh, be number two. Utah Jazz at number three. I got the Oklahoma City Thunder at the four. I got the Los Angeles Lakers at the five. I think they're going to struggle, and then they'll pick it up later in the year and still pretty be pretty good. Mm-hmm. San Antonio, I got them at the sixth seed. And then, um, so I got the Spurs there, and then I got the Denver Nuggets at the seventh spot, and then I got the Portland Trailblazers at the eighth seed. I think Portland's going to actually fall a little bit this year. Mm. Yeah, because they had the three seed last yeah, year. Yeah, but that was the, but the margin was like got crazy, though. Like yeah. three and eight were like one to two games apart, though. Yeah. So it really could have went either way, and I think they, they improved the least out of all those teams. So I think that's why they dropped to the eighth spot. What you looking like, Toad? Man... This is yeah the, the uh, in the West you hey, obviously a uh, Golden State yeah <clears throat> number one uh, number two well you don't have to give me a seeds I mean yeah so yeah I was, go a uh, Golden State's gonna make the playoffs mm-hmm. uh, the Lakers mm-hmm. Oklahoma City Denver Utah Portland. Mm, okay, you got Houston and the Spurs. Damn, you got Houston falling like that? Oh no, they ain't in the order. Oh, just, just play. Okay, yeah, they just yeah. made it. Houston okay, they, the they in the fold. I got you. Got That's you. the eight. All right, all right. Who? So who? Who? Uh, you got the East? I got the. Uh, I got, and you know, I got, I got Golden State uh, going to the finals yeah. again. Okay, what's, what's your East looking like? The East. Uh, you got Boston, obviously. Yeah. Washington. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got. Um, I got to go with uh, Milwaukee. Okay. Indiana. Okay. Yeah, we. we the pretty... Sixers, obviously, for mm-hmm. sure, for sure. Toronto. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did. I said Washington, huh? Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. And Detroit. You got Detroit too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I got Detroit. Okay. I mean, I think Dwayne Casey's going to give them 10 victories. Yeah, just off coaching alone. Yeah, just off coaching. Yeah, I think coaching and health alone, yeah. I just uh I so the East I pretty much agree with most of you guys I don't have the Heat uh, right. making I got the Hornets ah, I got really? the Hornets okay. slipping in okay um I'm not mad at the Hornets I'm not I, mad I, at I that can. when the last time they've been in the playoff they made it like three years ago oh. three four years ago against Miami actually it's funny okay. enough. but um and in the West because we don't know what's going to happen with Jimmy, you? Jimmy Butler we don't know so I'm just so for now I'm not even gonna put him with the uh if I, I'm not even thinking of him with the uh. Timberwolves. Uh, Timberwolves. Okay. So I I really agree with everything in a you know I I the whole thing. Uh, Warriors, Houston, or? Lakers, Utah, OKC, Spurs, Nuggets, Blazers. But if you uh if Jimmy Butler stays with stays with them, which I don't think, I don't, I'll slip them in yeah. over the Nuggets. Okay. Nah, if he stay with them, which it's I don't be think. a fight in the locker room. Right. And that shit they ain't gonna, gonna, gonna fight <laughs> over Cat Towns' yeah. hoes. I heard he smashed his girl, and, and he gonna oh, tell shit. and telling Wiggins yeah, how to play it's defense. About. It's about fucking his hoe, and then uh, Wiggins not playing defense. Yeah, and uh, that ain't the first time uh, Butler been accused of fucking somebody's woman. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh. So yeah, we could. I, I know you. You got a role, man. We we we'll talk a little bit more, but we appreciate, ladies and gentlemen, Nick. Alexander was in yeah, the house. Thank you. Right on, where can they find you. you at, real quick? Where were you at? Y- y- y'all can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, everything at Nick of Comedy, N I C K O F Comedy, one word. Um, this uh, Sunday, you can catch me at the Laugh Factory for Chocolate Sundays, okay. man. They, they they do. I got me doing the first impressions. That's I right, finally yeah, got a spot, it. so I'm gonna That's knock cool. it out and and do That's my thing. But come through, you know. Just quick, who coming? Western Conference, Golden State. Who's coming out the East? Uh, Boston. I got Boston. I got okay. Boston. All right. So Boston, Golden State, NBA Finals. Warriors win it. 
I want Boston. I'm going to root for Boston. Okay, all right. Huh? Keep yeah. you guys Nick I Alexander, want, I want man. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate thank you, fellas, you, man. man. I'll get you guys on the podcast, man. Oh, definitely. We're going to hiatus yeah, for my for show, but when out. we come back, I want y'all rocking with My us. man, man. God bless you, man. Right on. My man, appreciate it. That's Nick Alexander right there helping us out, man. We're going to bring him back probably in the mid-season. We're going to talk about talk about see where we added this and uh, yeah, whatever's what's happening because you know it's going to be a lot of shit happen by, by mid-season man but somebody um, else's woman to be getting fucked by the end of the <laughs> who you uh you you all right we got the playoffs finals who you who you like Toby Hicks I, I'd have to say uh Golden State in Boston too everybody say Golden State in Boston I, I'm gonna go with I'm hey, I'm going you know the NBA is just weird it's Houston in Boston you know oh, what? Shit. You know what? It's it's NBA is weird because it's really only four teams that got a chance of winning it. It's not like the NFL where yeah, you know, probably six, seven, you say eight. In the NBA, no, it's three or four teams. Yeah, barring injury, barring yeah. injury, that yeah. can. I mean, you look at it. I mean, really, it's Houston, Houston Golden State, Golden State, and Celtics, Celtics and. Uh, Philly or Toronto? Philly, Toronto. Yeah, if you could slip in there, you know. And I'm, a, you know, I'm a six sixer guy, but I keep it real. I don't think we. Uh, I think if everything goes right, but them Celtics, they they look. Uh, they look. They look. Yeah. Prime. Yeah. They look prime, man. But we'll see, man. You know, we'll see how they if they can mesh all their talent because they got so many so much talent on the Celtics, and you know, I'm, Haywood going want his time, Tatum yeah. going want his time, Jalen Brown going want his time. Uh, the point guard, Rozier, is going to want his time. And Kyrie, like, you know, Kyrie going to be Kyrie. Brad Stevens is going to figure it out. Hopefully he can. Hopefully he can. Um, players in, players you're excited about seeing this year, like maybe new players or, you know, interesting players that you're looking forward to, maybe rookies or just players that I you mean, think will make on, that man. next I, step. I, I got to keep it like I, I'm looking forward to seeing what Lonzo Ball does because mm, mm. he got a lot of pressure on him right now because, you know, it's time to put up or shut up, Yeah, you know, because your, your dad didn't already shut up. So now it's time for you to put up mm. and with the pressure of Rondo playing behind him and just see how he handles the whole thing. And mainly if he stays healthy, then to see how it works out, you know, mm -hmm. and to see how he deals with it and see who – in their game at the end of the at the end of the game, see if it's him, Rondo. But uh I think a lot of people are putting him, you know, in the back seat, and I, I'm not ready to do that shit. I still believe in him and I still think it, you know, I think he's gonna show it. No, this I think year. I think, yeah, I think and playing with LeBron, yeah. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm really interested in seeing the next step he takes. Brandon Ingram, I'm ready to see what next yeah. step he takes, you know. I think he has so much talent, he's so long and uh um, I'm ready to see, and you know, he hit that winning shot against us. Uh, but players, I'm excited about seeing this year. Some of the new ones, Luca, Luca Doncic. I'm, yeah. I'm really yeah. excited to see about his talent. The real deal. Um, I think he is a real deal, and I'm just, I want to see him uh, prove it. Dennis Smith Jr. I think the Mavericks. I'm really excited about seeing them, man. They got two players I don't know that. Why? Well, because Luca and Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, yeah, they got yeah they got two young ballers. Yeah, they got you know see Trey Young. I'm interested. Yeah, I want to see what he do. Yeah, see what he doing. Uh, and see how he you know how he can handle the NBA. I think he's gonna be rigor. somebody that uh, he's gonna be obviously hard to guard, but he ain't gonna be able to guard nobody mm. either. Aiton and Phoenix. I'm interested in seeing with Phoenix, Mikael Bridges, who I thought the Sixers should have kept. Um, that was foul. How they yeah. Did, I'm wanting. I want to see uh, what Mama he can do. Work for him, and they did that bullshit. I want to see. I want to see Michael Porter. Hope when Michael Porter Jr. gets healthy. I really want to see. I think he's a talent. I just hope that he can get healthy and do some things, man. I'm, I mean, if he get healthy too, yeah, Denver are gonna really be nice. Uh, Kawhi in Toronto. I'm. I'm just excited to just see to Kawhi back, and uh, you know, and. Hopefully it's do. no nonsense. Some I don't know, man. I maybe I'm just you know I know the series of events that happened last year, but some is just seeming weirder and weirder mm -hmm. with him to me, man. And I don't know what it is, but you know I think I think part of it. I mean, just that laugh when mm -hmm. I heard that laugh, that shit made me cringe. But one thing I know we're not taking into effect of that. You know what happened in his childhood with his mm -hmm. father being murdered and all that, and you know because but. Right I think now, he's not. He's socially awkward. I think yeah. it's just socially awkward. Some, you know, and it's okay to it's be okay. quiet, yeah. but I don't know, man. He's starting to him and his uncle starting to make me nervous. He's you just. Know? I think he's just socially awkward, man. Um, 
players I'm looking at. Kevin Knox in, in, with the Knicks, I'm looking forward to seeing him. Is some players you think it's time to step up or, you know, players that you looking like got it? I just, while you think of one, I got one in my head, and that's um, that's Malik Monk in Charlotte. I yeah. think he got to step up. He's got to be that shooter. He's got to, Charlotte needs him to step up. Um, so it's important. He's got to be that shooter. I think Luke Kennard in Detroit, he got to step up because, you know, you, they took Donovan. They, well, in Charlotte, they took Malik Monk over Donovan Mitchell, too. Yeah, so all yeah. these, it's Kennard. You got to be that You got to be that shooter, man. You white and you went to Duke and that's what you was known for is to be that shooter. You got to you got to step up. Um Kevin Love got to step Kevin up. Kevin Love got to step up and he got at least get he got to get back to those Minnesota numbers, you know, to yeah. to to prove that he was worth. I mean, all the money, all the shit that he did because I mean, I still believe like that they might have won two championships if they'd have drafted Mitchell Wiggins. Just to just Oh, uh, Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins. You're talking yes. about his pop. <laughs> his father couldn't draft him. Yeah. He's somewhere. You know a player got to step up to? D'Angelo Russell of the Brooklyn Nets, shit D'Angelo. Is, yeah, it's time for you to step up, yeah. my brother. Come on, shit ain't been right since he put fucked with uh, Nick Young, man. You got to step up. You got to step up, my brother. Um, you got to step up. Another player got to step up. Hassan Whiteside, Miami Heat. Yeah, man. All Come on, money, motherfucker. All that money you got. You was doo doo against my Sixers last year. I was, I was happy. But come on, man. Come on, man. You got so much talent. Come on, brother. You got to step up. You got to step up. Come on, Hassan White. You know what else I like to see? Do something that I thought would be a little bit more advanced right now. Uh, Denzel Valentine. Oh, the uh, Chicago Bulls. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I thought he was going to be a little yeah. nice. I mean, I thought he yeah. would, you know. I know he got hurt a lot last year, too. So yeah. this is... You know, time for him to turn time things to step around. Another brother got to step up. Fine maker for the Milwaukee Bucks. Come on, fine. You got too much talent. It's time. Giannis needs some help over there. Yeah, hopefully he needs to put on some weight in the offseason. Yeah, you got you got to step up. You got to step up. Another brother got to step up. Stanley Jackson of the Detroit Pistons. Stanley, come on, man. You came out of Arizona. I thought you was going to be that dude. 6'7", 245. Come on, brother. You haven't. You got to the NBA, you just haven't progressed, man. Come on. Detroit needs you to step up. They need you. Come on, man. Step up, man. Uh, who gonna step up? Who else? I gotta I gotta call my sixes. Markel folks. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. You we gotta, uh, you, you, you've been looking. Time. I like how you you looking good in preseason. It's time. We need you to be that third dude, man. We need you to be that Markel, Markel folks that we saw at Washington, the University of Washington, man. It's time for you to step up, my brother. It's time, man. Anybody else? You, 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 off the top of your head? Uh, anybody? Chandler Parsons. Come on, man. He's a bum. You stealing money. Come on, Chandler Parsons. You yeah. need to stop that bullshit. Stop that bullshit. Memphis needs you, man. You need to step up. You need to step up. Uh, I think it's also it's time for... Uh... For one of my Lakers to step up, uh, Zubac. Hmm. It's time for him to do something, man. People, okay. he got promise, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, shit, it's time for him to do a little something. Evan Turner in Portland. Uh, what the fuck is going on with you, man? Ooh, man he, Come on, boy, Evan. He's, he didn't really, he's really. Come on, Evan. <clears throat> not earned his contract. You got to step up, bro. Sign a big deal. You got. They got him playing some point guard. He can, he can play the point guard. They got him playing some point guard this year. But you got to step up, man. You got to step up, brother. You got to do what you you got to come on, man. They need you, man. Um, yeah, that's a ah, you know ah, that's what I that's the I'm step up, looking, guys. I'm just me. looking forward to something taking place that hasn't happened in a few years, and uh, he hasn't gotten that level of respect, you know, because it's just it's kind of like a thing, you know, where you can't win them all. But it's just I'm looking forward to this year being LeBron's uh, his final MVP year. Yeah, yeah, I this think is he can, it. Yeah. This is his final one, right? Yeah. Here. I believe this is his, it, this yeah. is the year that he wins the MVP. Again, again, yes, because he, he he got four. How many? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see if he has another year like last year. We with the Lakers, and then the Lakers are you know they're doing good. Yeah, I can see them getting giving uh giving the MVP to him. I can see it. Who? Um, KD man, just uh, 
Chill out, Noob, man. I, I, it kind of trips me out when I hear Katie. I mean, like, I'm really tripping off the fact of how he be concerned about what people say about him like mm-hmm. that. You know, no matter who they are, no matter what they doing. And I'm like, come on, man. Don't be so sensitive like that. Just do you, man. You the s- second best player in the world. Why are you concerned about Some what people are Some motherfuckers are insecure, man. Some motherfuckers are just insecure. That just makes no sense to me. Some motherfuckers are just insecure, you man. You know, worried about what the fans are saying? Yeah, well, come on. I man. mean, a lot of these motherfuckers have never even hooped. So how are you worried about what they talking about? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that sums up the, uh, the NBA. Pre- we're excited. It starts October 16th. Um, I'm getting an NBA League pass and um, repping for my Sixers. And I'll be obviously in L.A. So I'll be watching a lot of Clippers games and a lot of Lakers games. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, so I'm excited about this season, man. I'm excited about this season. So hopefully we see some stuff that we've never seen before. Some players step up, man. And some new stars emerge. And, you know, mm-hmm. uh, swan songs that Dwayne Wade and uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Um, yeah, yeah. They decided uh, to yeah. go out like, yeah, two, yeah. two class. Class yeah, guys. definitely two class guys, man. Champions, man, and uh, yeah. maybe Tony Parker. I don't know. You know, you think he got more seasons left? Oh in yeah, him? yeah. He signed a three year. Yeah, oh, so he yeah, gonna yeah. play? Okay, yeah. Right. He said he going to eight forty. Well, we appreciate you guys listening, man. Once again, we do this for the troops, man. Yeah, man. Uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Uh, and I didn't get the shot, uh, chance to thank everybody at Levity Live in West Nyack. Had a great time last week. Uh, thank you to the staff and everybody who came out to see my homeboy, Felipe Esparza. Uh, great to be a part of it. Hey, now, check us out this weekend, October 12th. Dallas will be in Dallas at the Majestic Theater. Felipe Esparza, Toby Hicks, Rodrigo Torres, Johnny Roca, October 13th the Houston, in Houston at the Cullen Performing Arts Center. Me and Felipe again that night. Uh, October 19th, I'll be hosting a blues concert in my hometown of Omaha, Nebraska at the Elks Lodge. Theo Huff will be the headliner that night. And uh, October uh, 26th, we'll be at, in Seattle at the Moore Theater. And uh, October 27th in Reno at the Silver Saloon Casino with Felipe Esparza all month long. Check us out. Uh, Get your tickets at felipesworld.com tour. Man, Mm -hmm. it's going to be a big month all month here. Yeah. It's Halloween, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, please, if you want to book us, please bring us. We are two. Yeah, yeah, the holidays yeah. are coming up. Yeah, so bring us. Uh, hit Dope Dealer Podcast. That's our Instagram page. Dope Dealer Podcast. Go to our Instagram page and uh, just hit us up, man. Bring us to you. Bring us to your job or whatever your school, your your club. We yeah. would love to come and uh, we, check us out. We every Thursday at ten thirty. We're on True TV. Laugh Mob Laugh Tracks. We're on yeah, that man. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, shout out to our sponsors, Dome and Cheap Movers, the number one moving company in, in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, Dome and Cheap Movers um, We do this for you guys man Please go to iTunes And rate us And leave a review man Tell uh, a friend Yeah tell a friend That's important to us uh, Leave a review And uh, listen um, Grow if, with us If you leave us a good review Take a screenshot of it Go to our Instagram page Dope Dealer Podcast And go to the DM uh, send us the screenshot and we will send you a t-shirt. I just sent out two t-shirts last week, man. We'll send you a free t-shirt uh, for supporting us, man. And we shout out to everybody. Shout out to Paul, our engineer. Shout out to everybody at Comedy Pop-Up, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, Oh, we appreciate everybody who came out to the Comedy Palace last week, man, uh, last Friday and seen me perform, man. Shout out to everybody down there, man. Doc Carter, Be Funny, um, Zach Miller, the whole crew, man. We love you guys, man. Appreciate it, man. And uh, we doing this, man. Episode 34. Yeah, you know I mean, we we, yeah. we appreciate you guys who've been with us since day one, man, and, and this is how we do it, man. All right? Yes, Dope Dealer Podcast. Dope Dealer Podcast. We out. <laughs> <laughs>